Hello, everyone. Scott Mobile coming to you live from Oahu. It is April 18th, <laughs> April 18th, 2015, 8.53 in the morning. I want to ask you a question. Can you say no? Can you say no? Now, the reason that I ask this is one of the best tools that a salesperson can have is to be able to say no to a buyer and being able to walk away. Now, I want to, I want to share some concept with you why this is important. So, if I'm sitting down with a buyer and they say, hey, Scott, look, you know, your product, your service, your widget, your gizmo is 10000 I'll give you 8000 for it. And I say, hey, look, no, I can't do that. The product, it is what it is. The best deal that you're going to get from me today is my first deal. I have nothing else to offer you. And then they kind of look at me and I look at them. I'm like, okay, are we done? And so the person's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now here's the thing, when you have the ability to say no and show that everything's gonna be okay, it usually puts the buyer into panic mode because they don't know what to do. So this is like one of those reverse things that if, when you, if or when you do it in a sales call, it does help you out because that person's not used to a salesperson saying, look, no, I can't do that, and being able to walk away. Now just know that sometimes when you do this, you're not gonna make the sale, people aren't gonna buy from you, they're gonna say, hey, you know what, okay, it's just not gonna work out, but you know, that's part of sales, that's part of life. And being able to, to say no to a sale and being able to walk away from it does help you out. Now, there is a danger in this, and being able to walk away from one sale can lead to walking away from two sales, three sales, four sales, five sales, just like discounting leads to more discounting. Objections, when you start handing them to the buyer, leads to more objections. Uh, sales lead to more sales. Saying no to people can lead to a process where you're creating some issues for yourself and creating sales sabotage because it becomes too easy to walk away from whatever is going on for that process or that sale or whatever you're doing. So just know that it's okay to tell a buyer no. They're like, hey, I want to get this product or this service or this widget or this gizmo. Now, for some reason in the mind of a buyer, they automatically assume that there's always 10% built into whatever most people do. And in some industries, that's the case. In some industries, that's true. And so people will push the boundaries. Well, if there's 10% built in, I'm going to ask for 15. So the guy comes back and gives me 10% off so I can give the, the best price of whatever's going on. I'm not a big fan of playing games. I'm a big fan of like, look, here's what I can do for you. Here's my best price up front. Just remember, sometimes people People do like they need to feel like they need to win they need to haggle so sometimes it takes throwing something in I get that sweeten the deal whatever's going on but know that you know for your ability to tell somebody hey look no I can't do that that's not gonna happen you know it shows confidence that you're you're gonna tell them I can't do that and it means covertly that you're gonna tell them the truth and that you're not gonna do things that are gonna create issues for them but I'm not saying no right so there's a couple ways to soften this up one of my phrases I like to use is, I'm sorry that's not gonna happen, right? I'm sorry I can't do that. No, I, I'm just, I can't, I can't make that happen. There's no way for me to, to, to do what I need to do. You know, you're asking me to leverage my time and my effort ability for a process that I already put time and effort away from. You're, you're taking time from other people that I gotta work with, so I can't do that. So just get used to telling people no. Now, one of the things that happens is scope creep, where people start saying, I need to have this done, and this done, and this done, and this done. Look, that's part of what happens is they don't understand the process, and I heard a bird, it sounded like somebody was sniffling behind me. Uh, they don't understand the process that's going on, and that's okay, just get used to telling people, look, I wish I could, and, um, that's not gonna happen, no, flat out, the word no, you can do that. So everything's gonna be okay, you're gonna be all right. Now, the first couple of times where I work with salespeople and tell them that it's okay to use this and tell people no, they get nervous and then they start throwing stuff in at the end. That's not what I mean, okay? So if you tell somebody, hey, look, I'm sorry, I can't do that, and it's time for you to get up and walk away, you gotta be able to get up and walk away and know that everything's gonna be okay, you're gonna make the next sale, but just not get into a process where you consistently start doing this, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe. And then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Scott Sullivan Bell. Only Scott Bell, someone will see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.